loves long time no chat well it feels like that for me you probably will see a vlog today or yesterday from me i am very very busy at the moment that's why i haven't really been online i have been number one working on the apartment it is done and dusted my carpets are coming today so i'm really excited about that thankfully we will be in it we hope on sunday night which is super exciting uh john needs to still hook up the cooker the oven and the washing machine but they're like not major 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 things i think you're probably like what how are we gonna live without a cooker and an oven but we'll have a microwave so we can do stuff like that in a toaster and you know if we have to get a takeaway for one night it's not going to kill us and for washing machine we have a laundry around the corner from our apartment that will have to suffice for probably a week i'm not really worrying about the laundry too much it's kind of getting in there so we have to make our bed i think on probably saturday night or even sunday night it doesn't really matter i have to get duvets and duvet covers and it's all very exciting i don't have a curtain to my name either so we're going to be moving in with no curtains everything else is pretty much kind of done and dusted and i just can't believe that it's all come together now and finally i can like breathe breathe at the moment i'm actually taking mascara off my eyelashes that looks really weird but i just put them in a solution of the Nivea micellar because when I was over in London the new breathable is this breathable one skin breathe yes because when I was in London they used this to take product off eyelashes and I have these really expensive eyelashes well they're like 15 euro which I think is expensive for eyelashes let's be real and I love them they're the Allura light ones from House of Lashes so I just put them in this solution or just some of the micellar and it's actually really 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 helping i'll show you what what they look like it just is a matter of interest they're just in this mug and they're down at the bottom but you can kind of see all the glue is starting to like detach from them i should have shown you these before i actually put them in they were a hot mess so i'm actually excited that the glue and stuff is like detaching from them i have them in like my murray mug and then i also need to kind of clean up this room you can probably see like there's stuff everywhere some of it is like to be put away into drawers some of it's to be packed some of it's to be donated so i'm just trying my best to get through that it's it's it's, it's a tough job i'm not gonna lie I just took one of the lashes out of the solution just to see what it's like but all the glue has kind of like become sticky and ready to peel off so i'm just gonna kind of clean it down i'm really excited about that Oh my god, my lashes are coming back to life! Okay, so I just picked the glue off and look at it now. The lash looks really good. Like, it's starting to get really clean. Oh god, <laughs> you know, just the bashed off the door. I'm back. I'm finally done editing, so I'm going downstairs to make a coffee or make tea or something hot to drink. And I also realised that I haven't shown you guys packages in the longest time ever like i really haven't shown you that many packages so i have like packages for the last few days that i'll show you that might be interesting older packages might be a bit boring but let's see what we have here i'm gonna go through them with you first of all i put all my nivea stuff in here i got sent loads of nivea products as i normally do nivea are always so good to me and i'm sure you've probably seen this i am actually working with nivea on this product not for this video but for an instagram post and stuff they are my favorite new product from nivea so they sent me out all these they're my cellar water this is their makeup remover it comes in a big daddy bottle and then you've got your normal regular size bottle the big daddy is the one you need to get guys oh my god it's so bomb.com so i have to try this actually as well i keep meaning to put this on actually i might put that on now because i need a mask so they're the nivea things they sent me loads and loads and loads of the new micellar first of all we've got benefit and i do believe that there's other products in this bag just i think mom threw them in here so i opened this this morning this was from miss lynn miss lynn is now in pennies guys just if you're wondering i have a huge miss lynn video coming up very soon i'm still doing drugstore week i'm just waiting until i kind of am in the apartment and stuff so they sent me that and they also sent me this little starlight 
this is a liquid highlighter Too faced and i didn't actually open this did i open this this looks so pretty this is the peach palette it smells amazing peach pop looks like um nars's orgasm it looks amazing so i can't wait to try that out the packaging is so beautiful i really like that look at the bag isn't the bag so cool it's like holographic and very futuristic they sent me the pro oh sorry the brow contour pro now i have the shade light blonde light which is way too light for my hair so i didn't even open it i just know what it is but it's you know it looks like a big pen and you've got the four options so you've got the brown side which is obviously for filling in the brow and then the highlighting side which is obviously for highlighting underneath the brow then i got this from pennies i have no idea what this is oh sorry noisy okay so let me see it says ashing sending the new ps dust collection your way to try from premark beauty so there we go premark did i just say premark primark <laughs> so the first thing i have in here is oh maybe i won't open that will i open that oh no it's all packaged because i probably will give this away i have a huge amount of products that i want to give away to family and friends so that's what this looks like um, it is the eyeshadow palette which looks really cool it's a lot of oranges and purples it actually looks like a palette that i would probably use but i have enough palettes i love the outside packaging but it looks like urban decay or something it's really cool this is nail polish Ooh, i'll definitely keep this because i need new nail polish for my toes my toes don't look great these days what else are we here this is the double dimension highlighting drops how cool glitter eyeliner oh my god that is so cool i definitely keep hold of that so i'll keep hold of them too for sure i don't know what i'm going to do with that one and then we have oops, we have the pigment collection how exciting i might do a video on these sure why not maybe i will maybe i'll test them out then i got the oh my god yes 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 i need new beauty blenders look at these try all them out so i think i will do them in a video sure why not we'll give them a go if that's something you guys would like to see this is from sigma so sigma sent me sigma have sent me so much stuff lately wait let me see the other stuff that they sent me so the first thing they sent me is this bright pink um set oh my god that looks so pretty that is so pretty so this is the three top selling eye brushes with a makeup bag for glamour function and oh that's so pretty 20 percent off sales from every professional pink brush set will be donated to bright pink which is amazing so it's in honor of breast cancer awareness month and then the last thing i have here i did open this didn't really look at it it came in this big box underneath but isn't this box so pretty i think i might keep this box I never keep packaging, but I just thought I might keep this one. And it is from Morphe. So they have the 35V and the 35M. Sweet baby Jesus. I think I'm going to collapse. Oh my God. I'm being so overdramatic right now, but look at the colors in this. Oh my God. Can we just deal with all these greens up here for starters? Oh, loving them. And the touch of purple. This palette is absolutely just killing it, killing it. There's lots of mattes and shimmeries in it. Oh my God, like look, oh my God. Does this scream autumn or what? I think out of the two, this is the most unusual one because I feel like this half here is just like a neutral palette and then this one kind of has a little bit of blue and I have a lot of blue eyeshadows from Morphe already. So Boss Mood is the one that I like. I do like stunning vibes, but Boss Mood, you are bae. This is a big Beauty Bay box that I got sent the day before I went to Portugal. So I didn't really get to show you guys this, but it is the Color Theory and it's these new eyeshadow palettes. And there's three in the range. I got to have a quick look at them, but not really anything kind of exciting. So we've got Origin, Identity, and then Evolve. And wait till you see these guys. These are just unbelievable. So this is the Origin palette. Look, it has all these numbers, like one to seven and then like it tells you to your base transition crease liner pop highlight isn't that just so incredible look at all the shades there this one's same kind of gig this is the identity palette so as you can see it has a little bit more kind of color in it there's a lot more like pinks and purples and reds and stuff and different kind of tones and then the last one is the evolve palette and this looks like this 
so pretty as well. So this has a lot more of like browns and neutrals and stuff in it. Super, super, super pretty. Snoring sound, if you hear it, is actually Chewy. He's over there on the couch, hanging off it. Look at his little face. <laughs> so there you go. There's the three palettes. That's what they look like. Aren't they so pretty? Which is your favorite of the three? I can't decide. So Identity, Origin, Revolve. I think I like Identity the best just because of the reds. Also just to let you know about all those palettes. They're all cruelty free and they have a 12 month expiry. Obviously I never stick with the expiry. I use eyeshadow palettes for years. <laughs> Thank you so much Beauty Bay for being so kind and sending me those. I am ex super excited to try them out. And then over here and in here we have Sigma. I have so much Sigma products. I am never going to run out of brushes. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I opened this the other day with my mum and the two of us were like shook. Shook over the amount of brushes that they sent me. They sent me every single brush under the sun. I think nearly every brush that they carry in their line. And then brush sets as well. Again... I don't think I'm going to keep all of these brushes. Obviously, I only have one face. So they're going to get donated. Where I'm going to donate them and how and when and why and blah, blah, blah. I haven't got into details about that. I'm just worrying about getting into my apartment first. And then I'll worry about like donating and giving away products. So do keep an eye on that. The two things out of this whole box I know I will certainly not be donating is the Sigma brush shampoo. I love this and I also won't be donating this. I want to keep this as well because these brush cleaners are just life and bomb.com. I know this certainly will be getting donated or given away because it's a skincare brush set and I already have it and it's fantastic and I want somebody else to enjoy it too. That's the thing about everything at the moment. Everything's all over the place so I'm just trying to make sure that I have you know, that I'm moving what I need to be moving into the apartment, that I'm not bringing unnecessary things with me, and that I'm also, like, giving away and donating things that I'm never going to use, and that somebody else can have use of it and benefit from it, and, you know, I don't want to be holding on to things that I don't need and somebody else might love so much, and, you know, I might use once, so... In time, coming up to Christmas, hopefully, or maybe around Christmas time, I might do a good few giveaways and then donate maybe to shelters and to friends and family as well. Everybody can use a little bit of love and a little bit of makeup in their life. I also just want to say to you guys while I'm applying this mask that I put up a video, my fingers are clean as well, just in case you're wondering. I put up a video yesterday and I was just kind of worried about what way it would be taken up. Just in regards to how I was feeling. Oh my god, this smells amazing. How have I have I used this before? I don't know. There's like little beads in it. It smells unbelievable. The little detoxifying mask from Nivea, if you're wondering. Put up a video the other day just kind of wondering or worrying about like crediting people and I asked you guys advice and I was really worried about putting up that video and I felt really like like almost anxious about putting it up and worried what way people would take it but you guys oh my god you really 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 came through in the comment section and you made me feel so much better you're kind of like you don't have to credit every single person unless you feel like you want to credit them or they deserve credit to be credited which I kind of was you know understanding that if somebody comes up with something unique and individual uh, I will obviously credit them and talk about them but I I agree with you guys on the most part and that's what I kind of thought myself and I'm just kind of glad that you validated it, not validated it, you confirmed it, my thoughts. So basically, I will only credit things that I feel are necessary to credit. I would never steal anything from anyone, anyone's idea or anything like that. I don't think you guys are stupid. I don't try and pull the wool over your eyes. I don't try and pass someone else's work off as my own. Actually, I find that kind of boring. I would never do that anyway, apart from the whole thing that it's stealing. But like, why would you want to watch something else again? You know what I mean? Somebody else came up with it. Why would you want to watch it again? But with regards to like, you know, makeup tutorials, even like what I'm doing now, putting on a face mask, you know, everybody's done it before. Everybody has. I'm just kind of putting my own spin and doing it my own way. And I'm glad that you guys don't think that I have to credit every single person in the whole world because I'd be spending my whole day crediting everyone. So glad I put that video up and your response was unbelievable because it made me feel so much better. Actually, what am I doing? I forgot to put some down my news but I was going around the last few days kind of worrying about putting that video up and worrying what way people would think like I filmed it on Saturday 
and I only put it up the other day and I was just worried about putting it up in case people were like oh she's moaning again she's off and one again and yeah she did you know she is featuring cleaning stuff and cleaning is big at the moment and she's just homing in on it and copying and I was just afraid that that's what people would think and I'm so glad that you guys are like not on my side there's no sides but I'm glad that you guys have kind of said to me that what I did was the right thing and blocking that girl was the right thing I don't block people on my blog channel that's why it was so emotional for me I actually never block people on my blog channel I think I might have blocked two people and one was probably like someone who kept spamming but I never block people for being nasty or rude or anything because nobody ever is and that's why it really surprised me and it's not like I'm trying to be liked or trying to be something I'm not I just you know I only want people to accept me for the way I am and the way I make videos and I'm so appreciative basically is what I'm getting at that you guys are so supportive and you came back with lovely comments and good feedback as well because it's not about comments it's not about you being nice to me or anything like that it's about like construction construction um and as well as that I am the person that I'm going to be for the rest of my life you know I've been this person for the majority of my life and I'm going to continue being this person and I hope that you guys see that I'm a good person and um, that I would never do something to like steal from someone or hurt someone's feelings I would hate that I really would basically all I'm going to say I have like how can you even take me seriously right now looking like this I can't take me seriously looking like this <laughs> oh I just went for a really really long shower what happened to this eye? And I got the best phone call when I got out and the carpets are in the apartment. I am so excited. I don't want to go see them without John so I'm super excited for him to get home and go see our carpets and then start moving everything in. Oh, it's just all coming together now guys, all coming together. If only this eye wasn't as black, life would be just perfect to put the bed in and to put the couch in the couch is coming tomorrow and then bring over like coffee table and the television and just everything's like coming in coming into the apartment and I can't wait to show you like an empty apartment tour I might do that this evening if you guys are lucky enough if not I'll do it tomorrow and we can discuss what's going on. Anyway guys, I just thought I would fill you in. I'm going to properly dry myself because I feel like my hair is still dripping. Yeah, a little bit. And I'll talk to you then.